haven't found anything for you yet. I haven't been looking. I haven't. But really nothing's been jumped either. out. It's nothing. That's nice. Sexy. I don't. Sexy? Well, I don't need anything sexy. I got you, you baby. You don't need anything sexy. You already got you. You're sexy. No, you're sexy. Oh. Hi guys, ho ho ho, it's that time of year. Today is Thursday, two days before Christmas. And um, I thought I would do a little video where uh, John and I went to buy our Christmas kits for each other. But instead of going to like a retail store or the mall or, or get them on Amazon or eBay, we thrifted our gifts. And this is um, the first time we went out to buy gifts. We found a few things, but we've been actually shopping all week since then. And we finally got done yesterday. And um, I've gotten John like 10 gifts. I mean, he think he's got me that many too. And um, we did a little on Amazon too. He bought me more on Amazon than I got for him. Um, this man is so awesome, you guys. Um, I have the best husband in the world. <laughs> He listens to what I say. Like, I'll just say something offhand. You're like, oh, I'd really like this. And he makes a note of it. And then when Christmas or my birthday or anniversary comes, that's what he gets me. It's so wonderful. And I don't have the same um, advantage because he doesn't like say he wants a lot. <laughs> but I know him, so I know pretty much what to get him and the things that he likes. And um, another thing we started doing, we kind of did the five days of Christmas. A couple nights ago, um, we just decided to start giving each other a gift a night because we have so many to give. So it's been really fun. Um, he's already giving me three gifts, I believe. He gave me some gloves that are the touch kind that you can use your phone with. I, apparently I said I wanted those. And what was the other thing he got me? It was um, it was another amazing thing that is I'm blanking on. I'll think of it. But I wanted to show you guys this thing in my office that he got me last night. Isn't that cool, you guys? I got a fridge in my office. Uh already gotten drinks in there my seltzer water my ice cubes and I've been wanting one of these for months ever since we moved here because my office is upstairs okay so I remember the other item John gave me it's this short insulated tumbler I've had one from a couple of years ago. I got it at a thrift store. It's a Starbucks one. It's metal and this kind of plastic top. And it keeps my coffee warm in the morning for you know at least a couple hours. At this one, the paint is coming off. And I really wanted one with scripture. And he said he looked for that, but he couldn't find it. So he got me this one um, from this other company. And it's a really cool design. I really liked it. The only thing I didn't like was the color. <laughs> it's white. I'm not a big white fan. I don't even like white cars. <laughs> it depends on the car. And uh, so we returned it and we ordered the other color, but I'm I'm thrilled with it. He's he's awesome. I mean, he, he's a great gift giver. So the video you're going to be watching is when John and I went thrifting for our gifts. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. Get your shopping done. <laughs> and um, happiest of holidays to you. I love you guys. I love your support. I appreciate you. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe or give me a like, a thumbs up. Uh, send me a comment. I love all of that. Um, so enjoy the footage and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. It's awesome living in Idaho. I'm getting eggs benedict with hash browns for six dollars and eighty-eight cents. Try not to get the first one. Can't beat that. Yeah, that's awesome.
John's getting eggs benedict and what am I getting? <laughs> oh, uh, eggs, sausage, hash browns, and a pancake. Pancake is my splurge, it's not on my diet. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Here I got it. <laughs> Um, today we're going thrift store shopping. Well, we always do that, but this yeah. is a little different. We are going shopping for our Christmas gifts to each other. Yeah, we set a, a modest budget, like no more than $50. And we did it once before. Was it for Valentine's Day? Or? And we also did it for Christmas a few years ago. And it's ago. a lot of fun because as you thrifters know, you can get a lot of bang for your buck. Yeah, so we so. do like, you know, $50 limit. But I told John if I find more than that, it's happening. <laughs> I said, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we're hitting a bunch of thrift stores today. So you'll be seeing footage of that from that. Yep. Just leaving the mustard seed with a basket full of stuff. $29, right? Yeah. Some of it's personal, but a lot for resale. Uh, I'll put a few bucks And I got this. John got this. It's upside down. $1.50, they sell for about $20. Even though it's not summer, I guess. It's me, it's place. Oh, do you want to show this? Yeah. Or it's cold. Oh, yeah, I haven't looked this up, but things like this sell. Tabac this looks vintage. Tabacchiana is going to be the category. I couldn't read that. Um, I'm going to have to study it some more. Como of lands. Oh, it's really cold. <laughs> Go ahead and get the coal. But you get this cool lobster hat and some clothes and a Bud Light hat. And it's brand new. That's why I got it. Nice. The caps are only 50 cents here. All right. Here, Just I'll... arrived at St. Vincent Thrift Store. We mm -hmm. caught it on a Friday this time. This is where I got my golf clothes. Yes. But I've got to show you guys this. Look how cute. The rest of the window, real quick. All right, packages. Tis the season. Very nice. They did a good job with their front window. Love those elves, though. Nail screws, screws, and bolts. Oh, so cute. Oh, let me get this side. Go ahead, honey. Oh, it's very wise, man. Very impressive statements. Oh. Right, let's go in and see what we find. Hi, how are you? I'm great. Oh, just fine, thank you. I'm cute. If it's a jingle palette, grab it. Because they sell no matter what. Huge snowball for sale. It's for soul. S O L E. I know, but I think these are the big old fashioned ones. Hey, I have the same thing. I know, I don't know why I'm looking at Christmas. Oh, okay. What the fuck? Oh, you smell really unexpected. Hot time. Merry Christmas Day! A Merry Christmas looking at the ties lately 
I end up getting this cute Santa Claus tie. I've listed it. Probably not going to fetch a lot for it. Maybe 15 but I thought it was cute. And I thought somebody might want that for a Christmas party or whatever. Again, I'm just looking for something that'll stand out. Something that's vintage or unique like that. But I comped that out and I could not find anything, so I didn't get it. Mary Kay I believe but when I comped it out they don't sell for much maybe 10 bucks so I did not get it I did end up getting quite a bit from the store though I'll show you at the end sometimes those vintage evening bags are worth a bit of money but that one was very dirty as you could see oh I didn't know that was Eddie Bauer maybe I would have gotten it <laughs> I did get this I haven't even listed it yet I had so many items to list that one hasn't been listed yet I want to get all my Christmas items listed so that's what I've been doing lately. Take a peek at the scarves, you never know. I just sold a whole lot of scarves for $17. Not a whole lot, but you know, I got them out of my inventory. I did get that really cute dog scarf.
I always look at the winter caps because I've sold a few of those and some could be quite valuable, you just never know. I have sold those kind of hats too. I think I comped it out, didn't get much for it, so I left it. I was looking for gloves for John, he was needing some, but those weren't in very con good condition, so I left them. I grabbed those gloves to resale, and I didn't even notice the stains on them. And then when I got home, I found the stains. So they're getting re-donated. Because somebody may not care. They were kind of faint stains. I just didn't want to resell them. I looked up those Harry Potter socks. Didn't cop out at much, so I didn't get them. I did end up getting these really cute fox socks. They didn't fit me, but we decided to give them to John's daughter, Emily, because she's got dainty feet. <laughs> I've got big feet. <laughs> I think she'll really like those. A little too late for Thanksgiving socks. I did comp them out, but left them sadly. Not worth them a, a bunch. St. Patrick's Day. What a feeling when it's time for Christmas. Again, I looked up these socks, but not worth much. They were really cute. Too small for my big feet. They were about a nine to nine and a half shoe size. So I didn't get those either. Socks are not very valuable on eBay. You're not going to get much more than maybe ten to five dollars. So, um, unless there's something really special, I just wouldn't be listing them on eBay. Ooh, creepy dog alert! <laughs> I can see the snowflakes fall. I can always look at the plush. I think I should be looking at plush because some of them could be quite valuable. But the bad thing is you got to sort through the not so valuable ones. But it's really fun because they're very cute and cuddly. <laughs> Baby, no thank you. Unless it's rare, not worth much. Ended up getting that stocking later on. I've been busy decking the halls. I've been kind to big and small. And now yep, I zeroed in on a bat. I haven't listed, haven't sold it yet, but I thought it was pretty unique. What a feeling when it's time for Christmas. Let's sing a carol and we'll bring it in. I have sold quite a few stockings this year. Let's sing a carol. Be warm and happy. Nice sentiment. a holly hobby plate I found I thought that could be valuable because some holly hobby is quite collectible but when I comped it out it wasn't there was quite a few of those plates listed on eBay so I wasn't going to get much money for it and for all time walking in our midnight wonderland I discovered these curtains and I got these. So cute. 
I think they're for the laundry room because they say wash, dry, fold, and they've got these really cute pictures of cats and dogs and and honestly, you guys have not listed them yet. I'm going to do that today. I think they were $2.99. Oops, dropped it. You know, I just want to take a peek at the linens, the blankets, the sheets, etc. Because I have found some valuable blankets and sheets to sell. I think that was Teenage Ninja Turtles. And I'm finding that the stuff I look up isn't worth a lot. That is a comforter. I'm not thrilled about listing comforters because I don't have a lot of floor room for that you got to take a picture of the whole thing yeah Lion King eh, I don't do that well with Lion King some vintage linens do very well on eBay oh that's one of those vintage calendars printed on a material fabric that was pretty for Christmas. There's just one. As I've mentioned before, pillows are another thing to look for when you're in thrift stores. You know, sometimes I'm looking for personal use, but usually looking for resale. I have done very well with certain pillows, but they have to be unique and special. And this is just me looking through the linens again. Placemats, those are nice, but I'm not going to probably get more than $10 for that, so I left those. They have good prices, but... I'm looking for $20 and over for my profits. Me, lights and angels help me through the changes and I'll be I was taking a look at the shoes, but as you can see they're kind of pricey. Not all of them, but they weren't in very good condition. Twenty dollars. Nope. Too steep. Waiting on Christmas night. Christmas. Okay, cute Winnie the Pooh. Pooh blanket. You really have to comp out Winnie the Pooh because it depends on what the item is, whether it's worth enough. I like to look at the bundles of sheets, but couldn't find anything that I liked. Scraps of material. Like looking at the sewing and crafting supplies, sometimes those are valuable. I did end up picking this up. I just listed him yesterday. I kind of regret it though because it looks like it was used and I don't really know to what extent it was used. I did list it as is, but I think of the future I'm just going to find sealed packages. Oh, that was a bunch of cat toys and we've given our cats some of those already and they love them. The rest went in their stockings. Yes, we have stockings for our cats. <laughs> me, 
looked him up, didn't comp out very high. In fact, I think I couldn't find anything on it. And I was looking at it and it looks kind of incomplete. So, didn't get him. For you, so I'm covering it up. But, uh, oh, wow, I haven't found anything for you yet. I haven't been looking. I haven't. But really nothing's jumped either. out. It's nothing. That's nice. Sexy. I don't. Sexy? Well, I don't need anything sexy. I got you, you baby. You don't need anything sexy. You already got you. Sexy. No, you're sexy. Oh. Just one card. <laughs> Overflowing with goodness. I'd like to get out this way, but I can't. Had one of those. Okay, I wish I saw some for you, but not so far. Sounds good. I don't know what that is. Toilet paper holder? That'd be my guess. It's really cute. Wish I could find something for Johnny. Oh, that's really cute. I don't know what that's for, though. Found this cute box. I have that on this bookshelf we have in front of our kitchen that has like games and stuff. So I put like cards and small games in there. And it's got these cool chalkboard sides that you could write whatever you want on them. And it was only $2.99, so I grabbed it. Grab that too. I haven't listed that yet. I need to get that listed. It's just, it's empty, but people like that. People who collect baseball cards like to store them in those binders. I did end up getting this. It's a vintage Dymo label printer. And I haven't listed that yet either. <laughs> it's reminding me I gotta get these things listed. We thrifted so much that I've just been trying to list my Christmas items. But now that those are listed, gotta get to the other stuff.